My name is Sylvia Dillahunt and I'm a member of the Composites Research Laboratory at the University of Maryland. I'm a second year master's student specializing in flight dynamics and control. I was selected to receive a National Science Foundation Graduate Research Fellowship to support my graduate studies, which gave me a lot of flexibility in choosing my graduate research topic. Um, for my research, I've been looking at the application of a variable recruitment control strategy to bundles of miniature pneumatic artificial muscles as an attempt to mimic the selective recruitment of motor units in human muscles. I think this research topic is really interesting because we are using a bio-inspired design to help improve the efficiency of our actual engineering design. So the way that human muscles work is they're actually bundles of motor units, and so to increase the muscular force that you're producing, you recruit additional motor units or you increase the firing rate of the motor units that are already active. Uh, pneumatic artificial muscles, also called PAMs, work like human muscles in that when they're pressurized through one of their two end fittings, they expand radially, contract axially, and produce an axial force. Benefits of PAMs include their simple structure, their high force to weight ratios, and that they can be fabricated in a range of sizes as long as you can find appropriate commercially available materials. Uh, this would be a full scale PAM, and this is a miniature PAM, which is the size that I was working for with my research. Uh, additional benefits of PAMs include they're naturally compliant, which means they're pretty soft, um, which makes them safer for human interaction than traditional motors, and they've also been endurance tested for over 125 million cycles with minimal wear and no noticeable performance degradation. One of the problems with using PAMs in robotic manipulators is that they have really poor efficiency at low operating pressures. This means if you have a manipulator designed to lift a 95th percentile male and you're instead lifting a 5th percentile female, you're going to be operating at really low efficiencies. So most of these actuators use a single large PAM in place of a human muscle or a couple large PAMs actuated in unison. Uh, for my research, I'm instead looking at using a bundle of miniature PAMs in place of a human muscle. In this case, a bundle of miniature PAMs would represent a bundle of motor units as is found in a regular human muscle. I characterized and modeled the unidirectional actuation behavior of a bundle of miniature PAMs, as well as the bidirectional actuation behavior of two bundles of miniature PAMs actuated in an antagonistic pair, such as the biceps, triceps operating the elbow joint of a human muscle. Uh, I used the, the modeling results and an efficiency assessment to motivate the use of a variable recruitment control strategy for the bundle of miniature PAMs to improve overall actuator efficiency. If variable recruitment of bundles of PAM shows efficiency improvements, then we can apply the technique to improve actuator efficiency in assorted PAM applications, including as actuators for trailing edge flaps and morphine wings, robotic manipulators, and prosthetics.